Good morning. There's been a lot of confusion um, over the latest Christopher Nolan film, uh, Interstellar. A lot of people are wondering how uh, we get to the fifth dimension. Um, well, to be honest, it's very simple. If you don't understand it, you're a bit stupid. But obviously, uh, being that there are stupid people in the world, I'm going to explain it right now for you. So the uh, early point when they go into space, it's explained, isn't it, to Cooper, how they get to a wormhole. Uh, becoming spherical or third dimension uh, so let me just redo that so we can see here the exit and the entrance loop round and that's how we get the spherical shape free or 3d now at the point in the film they get to the fifth dimension obviously first there has to be a fourth dimension. Now this is done by going over the top of both ends of the third dimension. So we went from 2D to 3D and now we've gone from 3D to 4D going round the outside. Now this is where it gets a little bit more confusing and I can't really do it simply. We have to go round the inside here of the 3D and the 4D and as you can see here now, oh, it's popped out. We got to the fifth dimension, basically, uh, which is the point where uh, Cooper is behind the bookcase. So it's actually very simple. The third dimension wormhole came about from a new generation uh, after Cooper. The generation after that would have opened up uh, the 4D wormhole, and then the generation after that would have created the fifth the uh, fifth, dim fifth dimension wormhole. So basically we are four gener uh, three generations away from Cooper at the original.